Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I incorporated a 3D printed at at kit card into a themed mini diorama. The pieces were printed on an Ender 3 Pro and a link to the file used can be found in the below description. It's not too late to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified about awesome future builds. The kit card pieces snap together allowing the legs to be positionable. Once assembled, coat the pieces in a gray 2-in-1 filler and sandable primer. While the primer is drying, cut your base out of XPS foam. Smooth the edges with an 80 grit sandpaper and then a 120 grit. Use tacky glue to attach smaller pieces of XPS to the surface of the base. Smear tacky glue over the surface and apply flocking. The color of the flocking doesn't matter. Once the flocking has dried, coat the entire surface with caulk. When the caulk is dried, paint the entire surface white. Add weathering and battle damage to the at ats by using brown and black acrylics. Glue the at ats into place as well as one of the snow speeders using CA glue set with zip kicker. Use caulk to build up the snow surface around the vehicles. Apply royal blue with an airbrush. This will give depth and dimension to the snow. Once the blue has thoroughly dried, use the airbrush to apply a decently heavy layer of white acrylic over the entire surface. You can also apply some to the at s if you want. Use CA glue and zip kicker to attach a thin wire to the rear of the second snow speeder. Weather and age the snow speeder with black and brown acrylics.
attach the other end of the wire to an at at using CA glue and zip kicker. Secure the wire to the at at legs with CA glue. The XPS base can then be attached to a decorative black display base using CA glue and zip kicker. Finally, you have a miniature diorama of the Battle of Hoth from the Empire Strikes Back. If you haven't done so yet, hit those like and subscribe buttons to see more builds coming your way. And follow on Instagram and Twitter.